So here we are given the function f of x is equal to 2 over 3x minus 12. And then we are going to write an equation for its inverse, f inverse x, like this. So we are going to follow the four steps, and let me just work it out along the way for you guys. First, we are going to write the f of x as y, and then this will stay the same. So we have y equals to 2 over 3x minus 12, and that's it for the first step. And then next, we are going to interchange the x and y. So that's the main part of the inverse, the x and y get switched. Originally, as we can see, this is the y, but now it becomes the x. And then we have the equal sign, and then we have the 2 third, but then originally we have the x right here, and now it's going to be the y. And then we have the minus 12, okay? And then for the third step is that we are going to isolate this y, and that's pretty much it. That would be the answer. So let's see how can we do that. Well, here as we can see, we have the minus 12. So that's plus 12 on both sides. This way, this and that will cancel. And then we will have, this is x, this is x plus 12, equals to 2 over 3y. Like this, isn't it? And now, this is 2 over 3 times y. How can I get rid of the 2 over 3? We just need to multiply by its reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by 3 over 2 because as you can see, 3 and 3 will cancel, and the 2 and 2 will cancel, and I just have to do the same thing on the, right hand, on the left hand side. I have to multiply everything by 3 over 2, and likewise 3 over 2, like this. So this way, we can get the y by itself, and then let me just put down the answer like this. This is equal to 3 over 2x, and then we have, well, what's 3 over 2 times 12? Let me just put it down right here real quick. 3 over 2 times 12 is at 12 over 1. And then we can cross reduce first. This is 1, this is 6. So 6 times 3 is going to be 18. 18 over 1 is 18. And that's a positive. So we have plus 18. This is pretty much it. But then I'm just going to present the answer as the following. Because I have to use this notation. This y is exactly the inverse of the f. So we write down the f inverse of x like this. And then it's equal to 3 over 2x plus 18. So this is how we find the inverse function. Okay, that's it.